Hello out there. Here we are with more Subnautica Below Zero. Originally, I was planning on going to Mercury 2, which I still might do. Uh, see how long this other thing takes us to do. Uh, I was trying to figure out where to get internal grow beds, and I found it. Found a location that actually wouldn't be bad to go to right now. Uh, there's one where you, what we'll get to later, it goes with the Marguerite storyline. And I don't think I can get in there anyways right now. But this other location, I should be able to get into, I think. So, uh, with that said, I will cut back when we get to the escape pod, or life pod. And we'll get to the uh, location with, from there. Alright, here we are at the pod. Uh... There actually is something else I want to talk about before we start heading out. Well, I guess I can talk about it as I'm heading out. I made a mistake in an earlier video. Uh, I c called the Call of the Void the Subnautica 3. Well, apparently it is not. It is a unlicensed mod that's coming out. I... I saw the preview, and I thought it looked like it was a sequel. That's how good the preview was. And <laughs> I don't know if I linked it in the description of that video, but I will link it in this one. But, yeah, I made a mistake. I thought it was uh, the sequel, and it is not. It's just a mod. But it looks amazing nonetheless. <laughs> uh... I, hopefully it won't be too long before that is finished so uh, I can try that out. I, I'm impressed that a fan made this game. Now of course they they make money making these mods uh, but not officially. Yeah, the, the people that make these mods they get donations. So uh, yeah, I, I don't have the money to donate or I would I am stuck I might have to oh I gotta wait for the booze to wear off wait is there something up here though me I see lights well let's check it out Oh, this might be where we our drop pod came in at. Oh no, this is right. Oh, okay. This is the right location. This was the original starting area. And as you can tell, there was a rock slide here. Or not rock slide, but an avalanche. And you actually got to see that in the original version. Why Why would I destroy it? And this is where, like I said, this is where you started out at. Oh, I wonder if I can get a grappling hook here. <laughs> Snow, no. <laughs> and actually the way it started out made sense you started out here and then the avalanche happened and then the sister which is us dropped was up in orbit and dropped a pod so that she can have temporary shelter what did Altera use this place for researchers here were trying to find them to know too much about architects. I could not let her. She was, what you call them, Vortarian. What did you think she would do to you? She might have discovered the gateway to our home world. I thought it why you not to take the chance. 
Did Alan cause the avalanche? Hmm. That's kind of interesting to think about. Maybe that was something that happened in the original version that they were going to do, and then, like I said, they changed it. I don't know why. I kind of like the way the original version was going better. Motivational posters were banned from Xenoworks following a lengthy discussion at the annual company retreat three years ago. This poster is technically contraband. But yeah, a lot of lore stuff here. But there's supposed to be internal grow beds here. I could scan something. What was it that I could scan? I thought I already had that. Eh. Oh, yep. <laughs> I'll go that way in a moment. I'm going to finish going this way. Because here are the internal grow beds. Which is our main, the main reason why we came here. Oh, this is one of the best things to eat in the first game. Maybe I'll keep a few of these so that I can plant them. <laughs> But let's see, we got sand space. What is she doing all the way out here? We'll go over there in a moment. Mister. And that's it for that room. Hey, Toe. Wait, you were a good cat? What happened to Potato? We we must know what happened to Potato. Wow, Sam had a boring bed. And is that it for the inside of the space? Or at least this part of it? I was wondering if I had that. All right. Don't need that. I think that's all for the interior. There are things here along the, the outside. But yeah, I think thought we had to cut the ice uh, see there there is ice here so maybe a different part if you had came up a different way it would have had to cut the ice with the laser cutter Let's see is there anything in here over here I mean there is some more alien stuff over here which I will go ahead and go to now, but we will probably not be able to do a whole lot of it this time around. Dangerous I think. Weather approaching. Seek shelter. At least I think it's over this way. Oh, it's over this way. Yeah, I found my map. <laughs> ah, see, there's there's the path. <laughs> Alright, uh, follow this path. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. <laughs> and if that's a reference you guys don't get, then I am extremely old. <laughs> you guys really need to go see your Wizard of Oz if you do not know that reference.
I may not be able to get in there yet. Oh, I slag my. Where, oh, where? Can I not get in here yet? Is there a control panel of some sort? That shadow scared me. What is this place? The Gears Architect Technology. Standard for my people. Well, nothing that your people do is standard to me. What is it? This facility provides the means for rapid travel. It seems to be inactive. Without a vessel of my own, this site is not of any great utility. I see. Yes, this area comes important later. Which, that would be spoilers. And River Song, as River Song would do in Bat Doctor Who, she would not give out spoilers. Spoilers. <laughs> Love Doctor Who. <laughs> Well, I haven't watched it since the old guy was the doctor. And, yeah. Wasn't that big of a fan of him. He wasn't bad, but. Uh, my wife's favorite is David Tennant. <laughs> Which apparently he supposedly came back. Alright, now we'll get back to... Let's see. Well, I've got to go. I'm going to the Mercury 2 now, and you guys have seen me get there before, so we'll cut to that area. Outpost Zero is where your sister worked her final grips on 4546B. It is quite restful. Yeah, I know the brightest ideas can flourish in the middle of nowhere, but this is practically off the map. A lot of people would love to get paid to sit around and do nothing. Not Sam. Must have been miserable out here. And they have the nerve to call her negligent. I think they drove her to an extreme. They also motivated me to change my behavior. Because they drove you into hiding? I had calculated that they might be well placed to answer my distress signal. But I came to suspect their motivations were not aligned with mine. So you made yourself harder to find. It was a calculation. Yeah, Alan wanted to talk, so had to cut in there real quick. That, uh, well, I've got to go get the prawn suit. I realized I forgot it. So I'll go get that and then head over to the Mercury, too. Hey, Marie. Got a kitten on my lap. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm cutting back in now before we get to Marie off the computer. Kitten gonna get me killed. <laughs> Alright, I wanted to drop down here. I think this is the right area. I wanted to show you guys something that's over here. But also, I didn't want to take the sea truck into the one area. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> Shrimpy might decide to take a bite out of it. Oh, I guess I could have waited. Well, well. I'm not doing that yet. <laughs> I just wanted to show you a friend down here. View out here, off here. Let's go down. I think this is the right area anyways. Uranium. Mad couple of these. Snatchy, snatchy. Might be in the wrong spot. Because I think I showed this off before. I'm in the wrong spot. Well, I don't know.
We all cut back to one and get to the right spot. I guess both areas are kind of close to each other. The one where the thing I wanted to show you guys is. But here's the Mercury 2. Let's see what we can find here. As you can tell, this is the back end of it. There's more that way. We got some scrap metal. Which, well, I didn't need to put that in. I never scanned you before? Hmm. Apparently, I never scanned scrap metal before. Well, let's find a way in. I haven't been here. I've been trying to figure it out. And... Let's see, what are you in? Nice. And I saw something I needed to scan. God, I remember the place now. It's such a freaking maze. Can it already? Mm. New creature discovered. Yeah, I remember dying in here a few times. Just for the fact. Oh, hey, this is where I get the one thing for Mar to make Marguerite's thing. I thought it was somewhere else. Yeah, you probably already noticed that. I have been cutting to the end of the cutting. <laughs> That's gonna be in handy here. Going down. Apparently, I came that way. Yeah, it's a freaking maze down here. It's annoying. Many ways in, many ways out. Hmm. Go get that. Man, there have been times I just straight up died from getting lost in these. Don't know if it's this one specifically or the other part. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this, so, uh, Mercury 2 was actually shot down before the Aurora. Well, apparently I had explored all that the first round of going in. Oh well. <laughs> Luckily for you, through the magic of editing, you didn't have to see me go in again. Alright, on to the next place. We'll cut to when we get to the next place, or if there's anything interesting to see. I believe this is one of the areas I wanted to show you. 
I don't want to go too deep with the with this. Uh, if I am right where I'm at, which I believe I am. Wait. No, this is not where I want to be. Well, it is, but it isn't. Is this an inactive vent? Nope. It's active. Ah. Gotta go down further. Yes, this is where I want to be. We have a friend down here to meet. Now, some of you probably already know what's down here. Where are you? And I'm so sorry. <laughs> Where, oh, where can you be? Yes, when you want to find the things, you can't find them. Whoa. Here it is. There it is. Ow, ow. That would be the Shadow of Ith. Whoa. Oh, crap, my health. All right. We, 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 you guys got to see it. Jeez, that one hit. Nearly O-code me. <laughs> ah! I gotta get out of here. Okay, I showed you guys. That is the Shadow Leviathan. Normally I'm not that afraid of it, but jeez. It, uh, well, look at my health. <laughs> That's the only reason I'm freaking out right now. Ooh. All right, well, we I'll get back with you guys when we get to the other part of the Mercury 2. Apparently I found another part of Mercury 2. Can I get, yeah, I can get in this part. This is not the main part. I forgot about this little section. What could be in here though? Battery. Oil. Oh, I got a laser cutter this. I don't believe this is the first one we had to cut in. Oh, reactor rod, nice. As we found out, we need a lot of those in here. I think that's it. I could be wrong. Oh, no, oh, there's more. Another jukebox disc. We gotta cut this open. And that's the last fragment of that we need. Now I just need to build the test override module. Then I can disable that satellite tower. Yeah, that's a different episode. <laughs> That begins the end of the Marguerite stuff. Alright, well, we'll cut to when we get to the main part of the Mercury.
I thought about just cutting to when I got there, but I want to show you an easy way to find the main part of Mer the Mercury 2. Or vice versa, if you found the main part first. Now you'll see this is all broken. And if you turn this way, you face the right direction. Am I facing the right direction? I can't see behind me. <laughs> Okay, this is a, basically the right direction. It'll be straight this way. But that's the easy way to find it, is go there and then just head straight. And it'll be somewhere over in this direction. And if I'm not mistaken, there are no shrimpies in this area. Oh, wait. There's a piece of it, but not the piece we're looking for. As you can tell, the little lily pads are... Will you leave me alone? Are kind of holding it up. Oh, blast you. That's the one thing. <laughs> it's like, when you're not looking for something, you find it. When you're looking for it, you can't find it for crap. Find them. This is the bow. I had to look up the coordinates. Because apparently I overshot. <laughs> but yeah, this is like the main part of it. Kitten? Anybody want a kitten? <laughs> Which one are you? Oh, Tiny Tim. You're being a booty. Yeah, little kitten was messing with my mouse cord. <laughs> yeah, one of our cats had kittens. Anybody want a cat? <laughs> now let's find a good place. I think this is the part I always get lost in. A chance you might see me die in here. <laughs> I think this is about as far as we can go with the sea truck. <laughs> yeah, we are actually trying to get rid of kittens, but... <laughs> Depending on when you've seen and watched this, you may not may not be able to take any. What kind of goodies will we find? If I remember right, there was good stuff. But like I said, it is a freaking maze. Mm, drill arm. To access. Hey, Tam, you're back again. Guess who's back? Back again. Timmy's back. There's an up. Got the part here. Okay, what is here? Oh, finally. I've been wanting to get one of these. <laughs> We definitely will be doing that before too long. I didn't remember that, so this is where you got that. Do I need to cut you open? Yes. I... Where are we? Oh, where 
can we be? Oh, if you hadn't had the reactor yet. Plenty of nuclear rods, which apparently, even though I never needed a lot before. <laughs> So, as good as nuclear power can be, I'd rather not have it. <laughs> it's not like windmills. Windmills, there's no, no real bad side effects. Nuclear power, well, it could blow up. Oh, what was that? Uh, can I eat you? only need one and that's even if I decide to use you oh, crap. oxygen warning 30 seconds of oxygen remaining yes I already figured that out get to it in time get to it in time get it. come on come on come on come on yes well I might as well. I remember there being some important things down here, but maybe that was just the things I needed for Marguerite. Yeah, there's some some important stuff over there. Here we go. Uh, does this look like the bridge? Captain on deck. <laughs> Which I don't think I need to scan these anymore, but um, is there anything else up here? Nope. I'd like you to open up. Uh, right. It should be, yep. Want to be as full oxygen as possible. Sorry that I'm not talking. I'm focused. Trying to figure out where to go and all that. Here. What's over here? Oxygen plan. Alright, I think it's all in these rooms. Hello? What are you? Reinforced diving suit, yeah! Glad I hadn't given up yet. Like I said, there's important stuff down here. Got a pad? There's the exit. Ceiling. Took a while to get out of there, but I finally found the way out. It was up in the ceiling. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I, I always forget that. And then I end up going in circles forever. Let's get out of here. I think there's still the one room I might have missed. That wasn't the important thing. I knew there was something really important other than those uh, rod things that we needed, but well, we got what we needed, and yeah, I hate going in there. <laughs> right, there's one other thing I want to do before I end the episode. Well, before I get to the data pads and stuff, and then end of the episode, but. It is back over near the base, so I'll cut to when we're back there. Get off me, shrimpy. Shoot. I went the least safe way I could possibly have went. Come on, we gotta get out of here. Shrimpy's after us. I think we're safe enough to repair. I was trying to listen to Ripe while I was traveling back, and Shrimpy got a hold of me. <laughs> Ripe is a, one of three YouTubers I consistently listen to that have various stories. Uh, like Karen stories, or I don't work here, or just no HOAs, and stuff like that. Ripe, Dark Fluff, and R Slash. <laughs> They're the ones I like to listen to. I think Dark Fluff is my favorite, but Ripe, <laughs> Ripe, Ripe is a good contender. The uh, R Slash would be my favorite, however, one, a lot of the stuff, he, some of the stuff he says I don't agree with, but also uh, there was one point he referred to babies as lumps of flesh. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, sorry, R slash. You lost the top spot because of the, that. That's the main one. Timmy, you're back on, on me again. You're trying to come up and mess with my cord again. Hi. Right. Well, cut back to when, when we're at the base. Well, I wanted to show you guys something. Now, let's go over here real quick. Then we'll get all the boring stuff out of the way. I got Clean up my mess there. Let's see. I'm over here. Yeah, I'm not getting in the prawn suit for this. Oh, I need to go up that way. Oh, I should put that on. I keep pushing the tab key. <laughs> instead of, not tab key, cap lock key, instead of the tab key. Right. I wanted to make sure I scan this, because this is one, something we need to do at some point. I'll figure out whether I'm going to do this or Marguerite next time. All right. It was important to Otera, but more important to me. Will it help us build you a body? I believe so, yes. Okay. <laughs> well, as you tell, it's something important to Alan. I mostly came so I can scan this, so I can make that. Uh... I think I'll wait till after I do the finish the Marguerite stuff because that could be the start of taking care of Alan's stuff. You know, going to the ancient artifacts. But that one, that specific one, will be a whole video of its own. Let's get back to base and get all the boring stuff out of the way. <laughs> You'll notice a random cut there. I, uh... <clears throat> oh, I'm trying to keep my my uh, video family friendly and I slipped on there so I had to cut it out yeah there's no reason to do it in the base other than well 
Well, it has to be either in the base or somewhere where I'm not going to die while talking. <laughs> and listening to the stuff. And as you said, see, I planted the potatoes. Potatoes? Potatoes! <laughs> Alright. Let's get some of this. We'll do the research stuff first. All right, oh yeah, slag mites, scattered wreckage. Newt. <laughs> kind of a cute fish. Perfect. Give me, oh, I've got to make a cut here. Oh, sorry for that brief interruption. I, <laughs> wife had called, uh, there's some, in the future this isn't going to matter, but there's some storms going on and kids are getting out early and the wife is at work and she's getting off early so that we can get the kids and, yeah, she's actually working at the school we're going to. <laughs> I'm supposed to have class, but it uh, sounds like it might be canceled, too. All right, now let's get back to the boring stuff. All right, there's that one, that one, and that one. Yeah, it's all boring, so if you want to skip through it, just... <laughs> this is important for going deeper. And then last of this one, which we will make at some point. Wait, what else is it? Ow! Freaking cat! Decided to use me as a climbing post. Alright. These are a little more interesting. Oh. Oh, this is the talking about the game, the Alien Intruder game. All right, there we go. While other teams have been pursuing more nebulous approaches to awakening the architects, I've tried to take a more practical approach. We know these part organic, part digital beings stored what they thought of as themselves on computers within their sanctuaries. And we know efforts to wake or communicate with them have been in vain. My theory is that to make first contact, these digital ghosts must first be recombined with an organic component. As Dr. Kaz Slaney's classic study noted, we know they had means to grow cybernetic bodies and to transfer their data patterns between them. There is a known probable architect sanctuary in this sector, but entry is not currently possible. If I can get inside and present the right vessel, I do think we will be successful. Well, Lillian seemed to know what was going on. <laughs> yeah, that portal actually takes you to the facility that makes the body. All right. Uh my darlings, Brian, Thea, and Oren, I'm counting the days until I can come home and give you all the hugs and kisses. Since my research project was cancelled, they had me at a place called Outpost Zero doing nothing much. Just cataloguing things, plants, the occasional animal, but it's mostly ice where I am, so there's not a lot of new stuff to find. Svea and Oren, you know how you get bored? When your hover dance teacher makes you practice skills 15 minutes over schedule and it eats up your freestyle time, it's a bit like that. But I have a new roommate, Samantha, a roboticist. You 
I should see her little dangling box. Oren, you'd love them. But she got management upset. I guess this is just where they send you if they decide you're too much trouble. I'm kind of glad she's here, though. I was getting lonely. I'm still trying quietly. I don't want any more trouble to figure out where I went wrong. I was sure. I picked up a distress signal. I, I was right on top of it, and then it just... What if someone, an architect, is still down there and, and needs help? I'll be home before I ever get to find out, and it will fall to some future researcher to come and find out, I guess. I, or I hope, but oh, I can't wait to be home with you. When are you going to send me some more art? There's still a patch of bare wall here that could use some color and a touch of genius. I miss you. I love you. I hope you're still proud of me. Now, as far as we know, only Sam and the Isaac guy, or whatever his name was, uh, were the only ones who died. I, I don't know what happened to the rest of these people. But, yeah, shoot, they all have families. They're missing and wanting to see... What was it? I think it's this one. told them I'd show them a day in the life of a scientist. Of course. Hi, Oren. Hi, Svea. Tell us what you're working on. Oh, um, this is a personal project. Looks more like biology than robotics. Yeah, I was just thinking, I know no one is on my side with this, but what if I just found a way to take care of the deadly bacterium? I, uh, I wouldn't say no one is on your side. I'm on your side. I know. You won't say anything to Emmanuel or Zeta, anyone. What effect would it have if I did? I'm not exactly employee of the month right now. I know. I wouldn't want you to risk more than you already have. I'm sorry. I wish I could do more. What? What, what are you working on now? And what do you mean by take care of the deadly bacterium? Uh, is that thing still recording? Oh, right. Uh, so... That was Sam, kids. I'll turn this off now. As we know, she was working on the antidote. Minimize this one. Go to this next one. Oh. This, uh, I think was the potential girlfriend of Sam. <laughs> Memos. All right, there was all that. And now let's go come back to that. I don't think I have a choice. I have to neutralize the bacteria myself. I'm a little nervous. Okay, terrified. This thing is a death sentence. We shouldn't be messing around with it. I'm no biologist, I know. So does everyone else here. I haven't spoken to Danny since we fought about it. Zeta said she'd handle it and then didn't. Lil practically begged me to drop it. This is completely beyond the scope of your work. You have to stop before you jeopardize your standing with the company. I don't want good standing with a transgov that would do this. Robin tried to warn me. Maybe she was right, and Altera really is unfixable. Maybe I deserve better than this. We all do. I've synthesized the antibacterial agent. I know my biochem at least well enough to do that much. I've stashed some away in one of the Penguin research caves, southeast of the Leviathan. That was probably the easy part. Now I just have to carry out the plan. Focus, be brave, worry about what happens next after the threat is neutralized they're going to know it was me if they send me home or when they send me home where the ice isn't 20 feet thick we can get my augie bun back we can cuddle under a nice warm blanket things with robin will thaw out they always do 
outside. Then she'll respect us. And then, maybe I'll start my own research outfit with an awesome team. I'd love to work on prosthetics again. Help people find peace and ease in their bodies. No more cold. No more spying. Nothing that can be misused. <sighs> All right. Now's my time. I've got this. Unfortunately, she was obviously never able to <laughs> go back home. All right, now for the Mercury 2 stuff. I'm alive. Stefano saved me. The Mercury attempted an emergency takeoff and everything seemed fine. I was helping the bridge crew with the emergency takeoff since the crew is, well, was shorthanded because of everything. I heard the sound of metal tearing, and for a split second, everything was tinged bright green and unbearably hot. Then I saw daylight, and I was looking down at the ocean and ice. The strongest wind I've ever felt roared in my ears, ripping through the ship. People went flying out the side of the Mercury, so much screaming and chaos. I was lucky. I had just clipped into my sea sinker. Stephanos came out of nowhere, like a malignant angel. I felt his rough, calloused hand grasp mine with the gentlest of urgency. It felt like time slowed, he said. We've got you. Just follow me, Ella. I don't know how, but he used an emergency tether to drag me to the nuclear reactor core, the strongest bulkhead in the ship. We hit the water and everything went black. I'm exhausted. The adrenaline has long since worn off and my body aches. I think I might have ruptured. I'm gonna shut my eyes for a bit. When I wake up, I'll figure this out. I'll save us. I don't think you did, girl. Because there's a, a craw virus to deal with on the planet. At the time they crashed. <laughs> Soul should pay me more to lead these missions. I saved the whole damn crew from destruction. Mercury 2 was nearly obliterated by an immensely powerful energy beam. I don't know any weapon system with that level of capability. A power source to get that kind of range must be, well, otherworldly. I got lucky. The energy signature is similar to some of the weaponry meant to counter pirates on mining freighters. The refraction of the beam across the atmosphere? Orion's belt. It looked like the Northern Lights. Such power. I fired the emergency flares and dumped water from the nuclear core. I think the heat signature confused the weapons tracking for just an instant. I managed a slight evasive maneuver. And I felt the mercury get rocked by the sonic boom as the nuclear runoff rapidly evaporated. That alone could have taken us out. Definitely asking for a pay raise. This is not what I signed up for. My days of risky missions should be behind me. Ah, but what the hell. I still got it. Even if it was luck. Hopefully, whatever didn't want us on the planet doesn't mind when we leave. Well, I don't think she got her pay raise. <laughs> Orion's belt, this all went sideways. How could I have known that so much would go wrong? I failed my crew. No, I don't fail. I didn't get into this position by being a failure. It's this desolate land, frigid, cursed. Between these tunneling creatures, a strange sickness that a few of the crew are showing symptoms of. We have to leave at first light tomorrow. We are prepping for a rapid takeoff. We can't take chances with the vibrations drawing the tunnelers, so we're skipping the systems check. Risky, but I have faith in myself and the crew of the Mercury. Landing this thing was practically a miracle, though. But we have to get out of here. Maybe the weapon is to keep people away. But if we leave, it'll let us go. 
to leave the quarantined crew in the cave behind. We will be back for them, but we can't risk an unknown infection spreading through the mercury. We're packing survival kits for them, but there's only enough surplus for about two weeks. I'm telling them that we will come back, but I don't think I can land here safely. can't risk the entirety of the mercury. Well, that tells you what happened. They actually landed the mercury too, tried to take off again, and, well, as we know, the weapon doesn't let anything off the planet. So we know that they probably all died when it got shot down again. six out to find the structures from the planetary scans. We were all in high spirits. I mean, who wouldn't be? These structures would be clues to another sentient race. <laughs> it was highly unlikely that another colony would be out this far. We were going to be in the freaking history books. <laughs> Everything was going okay. We were a few miles from the ship when our radios picked up an actual signal. It sounded like an SOS. We got overly excited naturally and decided to enter the water to follow it <sighs> that decision cost three lives I mean, half my team they got ripped to shreds by something they died screaming alone in the cold dark waters I, I'm not going back in that godforsaken ocean again I refuse some of the animals on this planet they look sick too Weird pustules on the skin, oddly sluggish. I think we should leave. But Diana said we should stay. She thinks the bio patent payoffs would be worth it, but those families will never see their loved ones again. They don't care about no payoffs. We can't return the bodies. I don't care about the accolades or the history book. I just want to see Layla and the kids. Ah, oh, man. I miss the smell of my wife's hair. The kids tackling me at the door again. That's all I want. To get out of here alive. Please. Poor guy. Well, we, again, we, ne we know he never made it back to his family. My instincts are never wrong. Stephanos has always been overly cautious. He hates taking risks. Which I suppose is understandable when you're in the back end of the galaxy. But no risk, no reward. Elliot finds evidence of alien architecture on a completely uncharted planet, and he expects me to ignore that? <laughs> Orion's belt, I would be an absolute fool. We've done some scans, and while there aren't a lot of mineral resources on this planet, there is decent biodiversity. Teams go out in the morning. This should be a significant specimen and sample hall for biopatenting, which will be split among the crew as part of the discovery clause. Let's see Stephanos and everyone else complain when they have a few more soul transgov credits in their uniform pockets. He'll learn to trust my instincts at some point. Well. Not much to say about that. <laughs> And let's see, what do we need for this? Oh, that's real simple, actually. But what we really need... Oh, I got everything for that. Okay, so... Next episode, we'll be dealing with this. I'll probably make these things off-screen. This will be the episode after the next one. So we'll be doing Marguerite, and then going to deal with the other stuff. I'm going to look up where to get this. I might do it off screen and just tell you where it's at. But I also need to... got a lot of other upgrades. I need to figure out where I'm at. Or I might just do an episode going to get the rest of this stuff. I don't know. We'll see. But... Yeah. Snowman. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
You know what? I think I will do an episode, and I don't know if it'll be the next one, but it'll be soon. Where I build this, I throw the eggs in, and then I'll go look for the other things while we're waiting for the eggs to hatch. But I gotta figure out where all that stuff is. <laughs> that we're missing, that we haven't got the schematics to. Alright, well, you all have fun out there.